In this video, we're looking at Carlson Point Cloud. We have Carlson 2012 running in the background on AutoCAD 2011. We've already opened our Point Cloud Project Manager and loaded a Point Cloud project. As you can see, we have a Point Cloud that's already been imported. If we right click, we can look at the properties and see we have just under 9,000 point or 9 million points in our project. We've also created a scene that we can view by double clicking it or right clicking and selecting view. In our scene we can rotate and look and see that we have a parking lot in a shopping center, several different buildings here, and what we want to do is create a bare earth extraction of the parking lot. Going back to plan view, what we need to do is go to the action tab and create a selection set of points that we can add to the set based on points inside the polyline we'll draw. So we move into the scene and simply start picking points using a left click and we can work around our parking lot just selecting points and when we're done we right click. The points we selected are highlighted. We can end the selection mode and now we'll create a new cloud of those points. This will be called Cloud 2. You can rename those if you choose to. Cloud 2 has now been created. We'll use that for our extraction so we can close this first scene, go back to our project tab. We can save our data and then we'll take Cloud 2, right click, and we want to create a scene of that by using the View command. This will be Scene 1 of Cloud 2 using Color and Direct, so it will look very similar to the first scene. When you do a bare earth extraction, you do want to be in Plan View. So we'll go ahead and move to the Action tab now. Scroll down to our Extract Bare Earth. We'll break this up into 36 slices as we go around the circle, so each is about 10 degrees. You can specify the number of points to be in a, vert in a single slice, how many vertices. Default is 250,000. Highest vertical edge is 1 foot. This number should typically be just a little higher than the tallest vertical edge you know is in your site. The maximum slope that we'll accept is 200%, again a default value. Things steeper than that are then subject to the vertical edge limit. Each search window is 10 units, so from a given point it will look 10 units away for additional points to see if they fall within the parameters for highest vertical edge or slope. We also have a noise tolerance to help eliminate outliers. To start this extraction, we move our cursor into the scene, hold down the control key, and simply click where we want the center of our bare earth extraction to be. Once we've done that, we'll be creating Cloud 3, click OK, and you'll witness each slice being extracted from the scene. See the little red areas going around. Once that's all extracted, it builds the cloud, and we're done. So we can close this scene, go back to our Project tab, Always a good idea to save your work after creating new cloud scenes, contours, or any other data. We'll take Cloud 3, which is our bare earth extraction, view it to create a scene again. And so this is our bare earth. You can even see from plan view how the trees have been eliminated along these edges. The reason for running a bare earth routine is so that we can actually create a mesh. Now to create the mesh, we'll go to the Action tab. We do need to select the objects we want to make the mesh of. So here, we'll simply select all the points. Go down to our Create panel and tell it we wish to create a mesh. There are some limiting factors you can use here. Maximum length for a triangle is 250,000, or 250 feet, period, not a comma. Minimum incident angle is 130 degrees, so that will help control how the triangles are created. 
More importantly is the mesh vertex limit. You want to allow enough vertices to create your mesh. If this number is too low, you won't get a mesh created. We'll go ahead and click OK here, and it begins triangulating our points. Then it writes out our faces, and again on our command history you can see that mesh 1 has been created. Let's go ahead and close this scene. Go back to our project tab, save our work. You can see mesh 1 in our list. We can right click and look at properties. We have 500,000 faces, 760,000 edges, 253,000 vertices. The important part about having a mesh is not only can we view that as a scene, but we can also export this data and it's exported as a TIN file for Carlson. So we'll export this as EG, our existing ground for this particular work. So it's reading our faces, writing out the data to the TIN file. And once it's done, we can go into our AutoCAD version switch over to, for instance, our civil product and use the commands in the surface menu to draw the boundary of that surface. We'll create a 2D polyline of this existing ground surface. And there is the edge. As another demonstration, if we use a simple tool like draw 3D polyline we can actually go in, look at our existing ground tin we just exported from Point Cloud. And as we're outside that boundary, you'll notice in the upper left corner we do not have any elevation information. But once we move inside the boundary, we have constant elevation readouts. We can pick a point, accept that elevation, and then get distance and slope data moving away from that point. So we've successfully started with a point cloud, created a selection set, and generated a bare earth extraction from that, and a mesh of that bare earth extraction. If you have additional questions about using the bare earth routine, feel free to contact Carlson Software. Thank you.